in this video i'll tell you guys how to get bp and ecg on your galaxy watch ultra and watch 7 if it is not available in your region the process is pretty simple so make sure you watch this video till end it will also enable irregular heart rhythm notifications on your galaxy watch first of all thanks to dante from xta for his amazing work now we just need one apk file that you need to install on your galaxy phone link for this app will be down in description this is an app made by Dandy to make the whole process smooth and easy. Once downloaded, just install this SHM mod companion app and it will have this kind of interface. Under this home section, you will see these files. This is to check for any updates for companion app that you already have downloaded. Next, this is the SHM mod phone app that has to be installed on your phone. Just download and install this app on your Galaxy phone. After that, tap on watch right here and download this second app that has to be installed on your Galaxy Watch Ultra or Watch 7. Now we have to install an app from Google Play Store and that is Gemini Man for Wear OS. Install this app on your Galaxy phone. After that, we have to make some changes on our Galaxy Watch. For that, first go to settings, tap on connections and now turn off Bluetooth. Turn on Wi-Fi and make sure it is connected to the same Wi-Fi network to which your phone is connected. After that, go back and scroll down. Tap on About Watch. Choose Software Information. And tap multiple times on Software Version. Developer Mode will be now turned on on your Galaxy Watch. Now go back and tap on developer options. Scroll down and choose wireless debugging and turn this option on. If your watch shows a prompt message, just tap on allow. Here you have to scroll down and tap on pair a new device. Open Gemini Man Wear OS app and tap on Wireless Debugging right here. Just enter the IP address, IP port, which are these 5 digits right here, and also enter your Wi Fi pairing code. Once you have entered this information, now under ADB connection details, Enter these numbers right here, like this, and tap on connect. Now your watch is connected to your phone via Wi-Fi. Choose that downloaded SHM mod app or APK file that you have downloaded for your Galaxy watch. Make sure to choose the right file. Uh, that will be in the watch folder and it will be around 16 megabytes in size. Once you have installed this app, you can uninstall Gemini Man and this companion app from your phone. They are no longer needed. Now open this newly installed SHM app on your Galaxy Watch and it will also open SHM Mod app on your Galaxy phone. Just go through the rest of the setup process and enter the required information. First, I'll be doing an ECG on my Galaxy Watch. So, tapping on ECG, it shows some instructions. Like, make sure your watch is snug fit, means not too tight and not too loose. Sit back, relax and let your Galaxy Watch take this reading for 30 seconds. By the way, this app will also turn on irregular heart rhythm notifications on your Galaxy Watch. So you don't have to turn them on using another app or shortcut. So this reading right here shows that I have a sinus rhythm. That means it's okay. Next, let's try out blood pressure on my Galaxy Watch. Take a cuff paste BP apparatus. I'm using an Omron BP apparatus here. And keep in mind that you still need to calibrate your Galaxy Watch every month for this BP feature to work on your Galaxy Watch. The information from your Galaxy Watch is just for reference. 
don't start or change medications based on these readings and always consult a doctor before doing so. So here I will take three readings from this BP apparatus and I will enter them one by one on my Galaxy phone in this app. So that was all about for today's episode. If you want me to compare these readings on Galaxy Watch 6 versus Galaxy Watch Ultra, let me know in the comment section. I'll be happy to check them out. And with that being said, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Until then, bye bye.